The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Altoona Curve and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Mel Cox, the Puerto Rican Southpaw, gets the starting assignment here. What do you have for us on MH? Matt, he's lost two of the last three starts. A little bit of an inconsistent struggle, and hopefully this outing is a chance to turn it all around and start it in another direction. So striding forward now, number 84. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right over the middle, knee high. HR, you take a look at our home standing ball club as they come into this one tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, it's been a rocky start. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. Into the box now, T.J. Rivera. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch to third. One away. Hey, we got one here. Digging in, number 84. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. go. First offering on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Well, this guy's having a pretty good season. That's a nice line drive. Look, double A. We see a lot of... Ready for another shot now. now. Number, 84. Number 84. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Pitch, huh? Here you go. Line towards center field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 3-0 game. Boy, that's a big RBI single right there. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 84. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. The 0-1 on its way. Shot back up the middle. Ziegler is going to have room out there as he puts this Ladies away to retire the side. The so no runs here on a base stretch. hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The curve lead it three to nothing. Digging in once again, number, number 84. Number on the 84. night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. In there, strike one. On one. Hey, one time, right now. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 38th home run of the season for him. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow. Man, I don't care. Who you roll out there against these guys. That's 10 wins in a row for them. So they feel like they could beat anybody in the league right now. And they're making it look awfully easy, too. A 6-0 shutout to finish off tonight's game. James 
Lee with his fourth win this season as he pitched into the ninth, allowing only two hits. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The show's continuing coverage of Eastern now, League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Altoona Curve and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Kevin Trevino will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, this has been a little bit of a mystery. I mean, he really struggles at home. You got the home crowd behind you. You got the mound you're used to pitching on an awful lot, but he hasn't been able to get it together. Maybe this is the game that turns it all around Not for him third. at his home ballpark. Third baseman, number 84. Come on, guys. Into the windup and the pitch. Number 84 is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. HR are home nine as they begin play here this evening. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matt, I mean, it hasn't been pretty. You know, the one and four in, in the homestand and everybody... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So a fairly painless top of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Digging in. Jamal Ziegler, not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Oh, look at the sliding stop. He gathers the throw. And that's an incredible effort to get the second out of the inning. So striding in, Adam Anderson. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. Galvis ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Digging in to try it again. Number no 84. Number 0 for 84. 1 for him here in this one. All right, come on now. First offering on its way. Hey. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. Ready for another chance? Now Adam batting. Anderson. He's 0 for 1 Adam thus far. Anderson. Your pitch right here, kid. Let's go. 0 oh, and 2 count. Here's the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied nothing nothing. Riding in once again, now number batting. 84, number 0 for 84. 2 on his line thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes this the other way to right. Andrews is there, two down. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two. Ready once again, Jamal Ziegler, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. I got it. Ball. Galvis ball. takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Freddie Yamashita. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Yamashita. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Oh, what a stop on the slide. He goes to first. It's there. He got him. 
So two runs on just one lone hit, one error in the inning, and one man left on base. Seventh inning coming up, and Binghamton is out in front, two to one. Digging in once again, number 84. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. And, all oh, that gets him on the mound. And on the play, the tying run scores, but of course, we're wondering how he's doing on the mound after taking a real shot. I love the lady. Well, I know you don't want to jinx it by talking about it, but this streak now, it's up to 11 games. When you're playing this well, you think the good times are going to last forever. But in baseball, trust me, this game has a way of humbling you. They should enjoy this ride, though, while it lasts. 4-2 to two, the final score tonight. Stephen Brault earns his third win of the year in relief. Sean Bowles earns the save out of the bullpen his 10th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we set our sights on the double-A Eastern League. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the Altoona Curve and the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Number 46, the Nevada-born starter will get the call in this one. What do we need to know here, HR? Matt has lost two of the last three starts. A little bit of an inconsistent struggle, and hopefully this outing is a chance to turn it all around and start it in another direction. Stepping up now, number 84. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Stay hot up there, huh? Hey, nobody out now. And that's in there for strike one. HR, we take a look at our home nine as they take the field here today. They continue to fall on hard times, losing again last time out, and that makes seven losses in their last eight games. Well, it's the last. Hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. Caveney rounds the corner and is headed home. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. Leading First chance for him Jack. here after appearing as a pinch hitter in the game last night. Rivera. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Now a ball hits sharply toward third. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Well, he fell behind 0-2, and this is really the personality who... Ready for another now chance? Batting. Number 84. Number 84. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Caveney rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the run will come in to score from second as now it's a 3-1 to one ball game. And he is in there with an RBI triple. That triple just seems to be par for the course. Digging in and looking for more, number, number 84. 84. Two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Tharp looks up. Gone! It's a grand slam! So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. Home run number 39 on the season for him, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Well, that was quick. He didn't waste any time. Bases are loaded, swings at the first pitch, and boom! Grand slam on the first pitch. 
That's being aggressive and having it pay off. Digging in to try it again. Number 84, Number 84. Trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Now here's the pitch. Right there for strike one. Well, he got away with another pitch right there. He's been really struggling, and now he just throws another one right down the middle. Fortunately for him, the hitter didn't swing. He's sitting 0-1. But he's going to have to put the ball on the corners if he wants to be effective. Fastball called for strike two. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Oh huh? Hey, get your pitch and drive it. Now the 0-2 pitch. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. But the recovery throw will be in time to first. A good job that time of not giving up on the play, and the inning is over. So no runs or hits here as the error turns out to be unimportant. Home half of the fifth coming up. The curve lead it 11 to 1. Oh, big guy. Stepping in and ready right for here. another shot. David him? Lint, well, two outs and two David runners aboard here Lint. in the seventh inning. on the ground towards short and that's through into left a base hit throw comes in quickly here and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here well that one's going to load the bases up they held the runner up they're really looking for a big inning right here trying to get a big Leading strike the out of the next two hitters coming third up baseman number 84 number 84 stands in as he looks at a called strike Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game as this lead got even wider. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five, jeez. Enough is enough. Digging in once again, number 84. Great game for him so far. Four hits, including a couple of home runs. First offering on its way. Slap hard the opposite way. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Number 84 has just hit for the cycle. What a hey, I've given up trying to predict where this amazing streak's going to end. So I'm just going to congratulate them and say, well done. 20 to 1 the final today. The Curve get their division leading 30th win of the year. Newton Thayer earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Number 46 struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com.